My name is Lisa, and I'm on the partner marketing team at Pinterest. And so I work on building out resources to help businesses like yours learn more about advertising on Pinterest. And as Adrian mentioned, this is part of a webinar series. So today we're going to focus on growing your business with Pinterest. And we're not going to cover any of the tools or how to optimize your campaigns, but those are coming in future webinars. So we hope, to, hope that you'll be able to join us in June. So for today's agenda, what we're going to cover is three sections, and that's what is Pinterest, why Pinterest ads work, and then we're going to go over some success stories so you can get an idea of how businesses reach new customers and increase sales through Pinterest ads. So the first section is what is Pinterest? When you look for new ideas, you're considering the possibilities for big life moments and everyday life. When you find ideas that are meaningful to you, you inherently want to act on them. And one of the biggest challenges people have when it comes to discovering new ideas is navigating all the possibilities that exist organizing them in a way that's meaningful, and then choosing which ones to actually do. And that's why we're building Pinterest. It's 100 billion ideas personalized for every pinner, so they can figure out which idea is best for their lives. And that means we, take, we make it easy for people to, make, um, to find the right ideas and then to take action on those ideas. So when people come to Pinterest to discover and do the things they love, what they're really doing is planning. And this planning behavior is unique to Pinterest. If you think about it, when you go to Google, you're there to search for information. And then you'll go to Facebook so that you can connect with your friends. You'll go to Snapchat or Instagram to share a moment. But when you're coming to Pinterest, you go there to discover and plan for you. And when you plan, you're in discovery mode. And this happens in two different places on Pinterest. First is the home feed, where you'll find pins personalized for you based on your interest and based on what you've engaged with, like if you've saved it. And then also in search. So in search, you can look for men's jeans, for example, and you can discover different brands and styles that may be interesting to you. And so next we'll go over just how many people are on Pinterest. So we have 175 million people each month that visit Pinterest. And more than half of those folks are outside of the U.S. 40% of the new signups are men, and 80% of people are on mobile. And really, it's the customers that you're looking for. In the U.S., it's one in two millennials, 70% of moms, and then one in three are U.S. dads. So all these people are using Pinterest to plan. And planning behaviors lead to unique mindsets. So people are open to new ideas. In fact, 75% of content on Pinterest comes from businesses like yours. And it can be a business that's adding content onto Pinterest, or even consumers that are just pinning content from your, from your website and bringing it into Pinterest. So new products and ideas are part of the natural experience on Pinterest, and they're not out of place. Now that we covered that people use Pinterest to plan, I'll go over why Pinterest ads work. So one thing that's really unique about Pinterest is the engagement. So when pinners save content, it continues in perpetuity. When they click this Save button here, it really means that they're getting closer to purchase. And in doing so, it tells us that this is strong content. So we'll show it to all of their followers and anyone else that it might be pertinent for. 
So this behavior allows you to see a significant bump in earned media, making what you pay for even more efficient. One thing to note is that followers aren't important on Pinterest. If you have good, helpful content, you'll reach many people no matter how many followers you have. So when someone saves a promoted pin, like this one here, other people will see the pin in their feed and that'll drive additional sales. So pins last forever and your, and your ads continue to engage people and support your goals for a long time after. And so we've seen that advertisers receive an average of 20% more free clicks in a month after launching a promoted pin campaign. What really sets us apart is the intent that people signal on Pinterest as they discover, save, and engage with your ideas. So this planning and that open-mindedness that we talked about really gives a strong intent to act, buy, and do. So we've seen that Pinterest is full of shoppers. 93% of pinners use Pinterest to plan for purchases. And then Pinterest also over-indexes on high-income shoppers. Nearly 40% earn over $100,000 a year. They also spend more, so 16% um, higher sales, more than the national average, is what we've seen um, Pinterest spending more. And the last stat slide that I'll share with you is one to demonstrate that these are actually coming from incremental sales and new customers. So in a study with Oracle, we found that for retail and CPG campaigns, the majority of the retailer sales are incremental to their business. And so these are coming from sales that they would not have had. And additionally, they're coming from new customers. So new customers provide the strongest sales lift, driving 10 times more sales than their existing customers. So it really shows that Pinterest is a powerful place for businesses to reach new customers who contribute more to sales. And so before we jump into the last section, I want to tell you about a program that we just launched this year to really help folks get started with advertising on Pinterest. And so Pinterest Propel is a program that we launched where you can talk to an expert to really get started on your advertising campaign. And they can give you tips for your business and also help create pins for you um, from our in-house creative team, the Pin Factory. And so businesses that have started on Pinterest Propel saw more traffic to their site, and then also at a lower cost. Their CPCs were 38% lower. So if you're interested in starting an advertising campaign, you can sign up at business.pinterest.com. And this is for businesses in US and Canada that are ready to spend $100 per day. So next, we're going to jump into our last session, which is success stories. So we want to tell you about businesses and how they've been using Pinterest to really drive growth in new customers and additional sales. So to give you some highlights, since you'll have the slides uh, after the presentation, the first one is Gorman's, and they're a retailer trying to reach mothers. And so they are one of our first participants in the Pinterest Propel program. And through the program, they've seen a 13.1 uh, times increase in traffic and also a 5.5 times increase in CTR. So they're driving more customers to their site and that's something that's really exciting for Gordman's. The next example I'd like to share is Home Hardware. And so they're also participating in Pinterest Propel. And initially they saw organic traffic from Pinterest uh, driving a lot of traffic to their site. And so they wanted to use promoted pins to drive even more traffic to the site. And so what they've seen is a 10 times increase on CTR, but then also a two times lower bounce rate on Pinterest visitors than the average across other top referrers. So I want to pause here because this is something that's really interesting in terms of people coming to the site and a two times lower bounce rate. And this is definitely from the fact that people on Pinterest are there to plan and they're here to discover and do. And so when they're going to visit your website, they're already in a planning mindset and so they're more engaged with what they want. 
we can see that impact the bounce rate just as home hardware saw it here. The next example I'd like to share is ScoutMob. So ScoutMob has independent makers and crafts that they're selling, and their goal is to attract new customers and drive sales. So they built some campaigns on Pinterest, and the results that they've seen are two times return on ad spend, and they saw that this is the, their most productive channel next to email marketing. So it's definitely a place where you can meet your goals, whether it's return on ad spend, engagement to your site, or traffic to your site. And I'll share one more example to tie back to uh, one of the key points from earlier in the presentation. So MVMT um, has watches, and they sell quality watches. And so they used the Promoted Pins campaign uh, and they saw two times higher. Um, they saw that two times higher conversion rate on users from Pinterest than other platforms, and they had higher average order values. And so, one thing I'd like to highlight is that once they paused their promoted pin campaign and their ad campaign was over, they saw 10 to 20 percent more sales after that. And so, this hits on one of the points I talked about earlier that pins really last forever. Once you've posted it. Onto, uh, once you've promoted it, it stays on Pinterest. And when people are discovering your product later at a different time, they may discover it um, for them. So your pins can really last forever. So just to recap what we've talked about today, we've talked a little bit about the pinners. So 175 million people use Pinterest to plan. And we've talked about businesses and how they're using Pinterest in terms of businesses using Pinterest to acquire new customers and increase sales. The customers that they're finding on Pinterest are spending more, and these are new customers that they haven't reached before. And finally, pins are evergreen and drive results beyond your campaign. So these pins continue to last, and when your campaign is over, you may continue to see results from them as well. The last piece is don't forget to sign up for Pinterest Propel if you're ready to get started with advertising.